Okay, so in Genesis, um, uh, Jacob, uh, before he turns, he changes his name to Israel. It turned, God says, uh, or he says he named the city because God saw, he saw God face to face. And then later in Exodus, Mo Moses says, nobody has seen God. So can you explain yeah, that? Well, actually, me, you're, the, Moses doesn't say no one has seen God. It says you cannot see my face and live, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Read for me Genesis 32, 30. Okay, guys, I'm going to have him read it, and then I'm going to explain the objection and answer it for you. Genesis 32, 30. Guys, we had a good crowd. Look, it's 360. Glory to Jesus for a light night. Let's pray that it goes up to 500 in Jesus' name. I'm, I'm impressed. Thank you, guys. Thank you for making the numbers grow for the glory of Christ. And for praying so for Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life has been delivered. Oh, see, I've seen God face to face, yet my life has been delivered. But now go to Exodus 32 and read for me verse 20. 32 20, as the Holy Spirit perfects our ability to recall scripture and interpret it for the glory of Jesus. Exodus 32 20. 33 20. My, but my apologies, because 32 is also an important chapter because of moses turning god's wrath against israel it's 33 20. Mm, okay but he said you cannot see my face for man shall not see me and live okay and you for know, no man shall see my face and live. okay sorry i cut you off one more time so people get it so we got on the same page by the grace of god but he said you cannot see my face for man shall not see me and live okay so Genesis 32, 30, Jacob said, I've seen God face to face. My life was spared. Exodus 33, 20, no one can see my face and live. Okay, contradiction? Absolutely not. Now, go to Deuteronomy 4. Deuteronomy 4. Read for me 15 to 20. Deuteronomy 4, verses 15 to 20. Therefore, watch yourself very carefully. Since you saw no form on that day, the Lord spoke okay. to what you. What did he say? At Horeb, what at did he say to the Israelites? Uh, he what part of me since what did he no say to the Israelites? The He's saying he didn't see a form, so they didn't see him at all, right? Mm -hmm. You sure because this you got to keep it in mind so you don't forget. You did not see a form, so reread it 15 to 20. I won't stop you, okay? Okay, therefore, watch yourself very carefully. Since you saw no form on that day, the Lord spoke to you at Horeb, out the midst of the fire. Beware lest you act corruptly by making a carved image of yourself in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any animal that is on earth and likeness of any winged bird that flies in the air, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the water under the earth. And beware lest you raise your eyes to the heavens. And when you see the sun on the moon and the stars and most of heaven, you be drawn away and bow down to them and serve them things that the Lord your God has allotted to all peoples under the whole heaven. Now read 20. But the Lord has taken you and brought you out of the iron furnace, out of Egypt, to be people of his inheritance as you are this day. Okay, now pay attention to what he said. I, God, did not show you my form, my shape. I did not allow yes. you to see my form and shape because I didn't want you to go make an image of it and then commit idolatry. Okay, so they didn't see God at all, right? They saw a cloud, but they didn't see God's shape, right? Mm -hmm. Now read Deuteronomy 5, verse 4. So it says, The Lord spoke with you face to face at the mountain, out the midst of the fire. Okay. Okay, read it again. What did God say to them? The Lord spoke with you face to face at the mountain. So I guess the way that they express it is in, in the different, in the Aramaic or the Hebrew or the, you know what I mean, would be. So what does it mean? Would be, It's like an expression, I guess. Okay, what does it mean that you didn't see no form, you didn't see a shape, but God spoke to you face to face? It means he was, he was with them? Yes, he spoke to them really? directly. He spoke to them face to meaning directly, but that doesn't mean he, they saw him. So when Jacob says, I've seen God face to face, meaning God has appeared directly to me in a form, but God has no form to see. So there is no contradiction saying you can't see my face and I saw God face to face because what it's talking about is God coming directly to you and speaking to you in a manner that you know this is God talking to you. But then seeing mm -hmm. the glory of God before your very eyes is the way angels see it in heaven. 
Okay. Okay. And 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 the way Jesus was when, no when one he was saw, from the start? No one saw Jesus' true inner abiding glory because it was veiled by the flesh. Were you seeing God or are you seeing a man in flesh that if you didn't know any better, you would not know as God? Okay, so it would be like if it would be like a beam of light, you think? No, because or if you saw Jesus, no, if you saw Jesus, there was nothing in Jesus's physical appearance that you'd say this is God. No, you saw a man. That's all you saw. Mm -hmm. And had he not told you and proven he's God, you would not think he's God. That was the last thing in your mind. You're right. You're right. You're right. And they said that even in Isaiah, they say he was made not uh, appealing to them. Yeah, not appealing doesn't mean he's ugly looking, meaning there was uh -huh. nothing that you saw that would make you say, oh, that's God. All you saw was a man. Mm -hmm. So they didn't see God as God is. They saw a man with a physical body who, if he didn't tell you and prove to you he's God, the last thing you would have think was he's God. Yeah, yeah, because he was fully man and yeah, fully truly, God. Yeah, and he veiled it. So how do they know he's God? Because he said he's God, and then he confirmed he's God by the miracles in the resurrection. And then for one exactly. moment, one moment on the mount, when he's on the mount, he let his glory shine through his body. So he became radiant like the sun and whiter. His robe became whiter than snow. But even then, it was being mediated through his physical body. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, because he controls everything. So, in other words, face to face is not the same as seeing God's face. It means two different things. Okay. Face okay. to face. That's, okay. That's the that's the thing I wanted to Timmy, clear up. Thank you. Timmy, hold on, brother. Don't worry. Timmy, face to face means God speaks to you directly, in some way. Seeing God's face means seeing God's glory displayed before your eyes, the way angels see it in heaven. That's what God was telling Moses. This glory where I manifest in heaven before the angels, that will be too much for you to handle. You'll see my back. But I can speak to you face to face without showing you that glory. See, Timmy got it. Is the, is the Syriac, is it written What's like Syriac? that too? Like like face to face? Hold on, I'm going to hit my head in my head. I'm going to smash my, my head. head. My bad. What Syriac? What Syriac? Hold on, what Syriac? <laughs> what Syriac? <laughs> Hebrew. Hebrew. It's not Syriac. It's Hebrew. The Hebrew, brother. Yes, my bad, my Hebrew bad. says. Hebrew. Yes, it says face to face. The block Aramaic. How about that? <laughs> well, no, it's not Aramaic at that time. It's Hebrew, but that's Hebrew. It's face to face. Yes. Yeah. Face to face. No, at that time it was written in block Aramaic. That's where the Hebrew comes from. No. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> bro, that's why you're the teacher. You know. <laughs> okay. No, some people believe that Hebrew may have been the one of the First, if not the first language written, some say it may have been written in a Phoenician script that eventually evolved to the Hebrew script. But that's neither here nor yeah. there. You're talking about today's Hebrew, not the Hebrew of Moses' time. So even in the ancient languages, it's, uh, it's face to face. Written. Yes, it's they face say face to face, but they they mean the expression of they spoke to God and yeah. it was near. Them. Face to face okay. means I didn't send someone to speak to you for me. I came directly and spoke to you directly. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So that's what perfect. Jacob's saying. Jacob's saying, this wasn't Gabriel or Michael who came to me. God himself came to me. Yeah. Okay. Amen. But when Moses, God tells Moses, you can't see my face, that's different. God was already there. He was sp speaking to Moses and Israel directly, face to face. But Moses was saying, let me see your glory displayed before me the way the angels see it in heaven. He goes, that will be too mm -hmm. much for you to handle. You can't do it. Okay, okay, and that's why he, he replied to him that nobody has seen me. Yeah, not they, seen okay. me. No, he didn't say see me. So you're misquoting again. He didn't say no one has seen me. He says no one can see my face, but the same chapter says, but you'll see my back. Oh. Go to Exodus okay. 33, read 18 to 23 again. 18 to 23? Yeah, Exodus 33, 18 to 23. Okay. It says, Moses said, please show me your glory. And he said, I will make Notice, all my goodness Show me pass your glory, you. right? Show me mm -hmm. your glory. Okay, now what did God say? Now keep reading. And he said, I will make all, the, all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim before you my name, the Lord. 
and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But he said, you cannot see my face for man shall not see me and live. Okay, and the know. Lord said, behold, there is a place for, by me where you shall stand on the rock. And while my glory passes by, I will put you in, in a cleft of the rock and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. Okay, so she, he specifies, my okay. bad, bro. So bad. it's not you can't see me. Here means you can't see my face. Me means my face, but I'll let you see my back, meaning I'll let you get a glimpse of my glory, but you can't see my glory fully displayed the way it's displayed in heaven. Bro, God is a genius, bro. God well, is a genius. He knew well, that we would ask these questions. Yeah, he knew that you he would come so here. Specific. He knew you'd come here and cut me off every two se uh, sentences. <laughs> you would then That's drive ADD. me crazy because your ADD makes me look normal. And you would keep telling me Aramaic, Aramaic, and make me bust my head against Timmy. He knew that. No, no, we, we know that the, the Hebrew letters come from the, the Phoenician letters. We, we know that, but like. Okay, all right. Proto-Sinaitic. Thanks for everything, bro. I love you, bro. I love you too, bro. Uh,